for the first strategy of today, I'm going to be doing something I have never done before. The map is immaterial. It doesn't matter. What we're going to be doing is going to break all the rules of Warcraft. It's going to be... It's like a cheat, essentially. It's a very advanced strategy that only masters of war craft should attempt. It is the invisible, invincible, unstoppable siege engine. You have seen small siege engine attacks. You have seen mass siege engines. But have you ever seen one unstoppable siege engine? I don't think you have, have you? And you know why? If you had seen it, you wouldn't have survived to tell the story about it. No one has ever seen this and survived to tell the story. And I'm gonna show you guys, but I'll do it at a safe distance so that hopefully you may survive. If you do survive, you have to promise me to tell this story to your children. I don't think Unstoppable is a mechanic in Warcraft 3. You don't think so? You're wrong. You're wrong, I tell you. I bet you're wondering how can he make a siege engine invincible or invisible or unstoppable. Well, you're gonna have to wait and see it. And I can feel you wishing, I can feel you thinking, I ain't got time for this. I'm gonna fast forward. I just want to see the spoiler. But you can't, because it's a live stream. <laughs> Ready for yeah, boy. You cannot let you cannot fast forward this. You can't. Of course, if you're watching this on the VOD, you can. But you'll ruin the surprise. So don't. Don't do it. Just don't. Do it. First, we have to build up a small economy and technology situation. That's first. And once we've done that, we move to the next plan. We need tier 2. This is a technologically advanced strategy. We may even need an expansion. Okay, all going well. Once we have our expansion set up, we will be getting all the necessary elements to create this Exodia strategy. Here we go. We tech as soon as we can. One single siege engine will win this game. Grubby, I don't know why, but I catch you way more often on YouTube than on Twitch. Yeah, I don't know why too. You should catch me all the time on buff. YouTube stream? Yes. Hi, Riley LaForge. First time I catch Grubby live and I get called out for sk skipping through, rip. <laughs> it's okay, you're just being efficient. What's the amazing strat we're working with in this game? We are going to be creating an unstoppable siege engine. We're attacking, we're expanding. And then we'll have an unstoppable one. 
You, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you have never seen this before. Never. Ah. Yo, my sub expired on Twitch. How about you go on Twitch so I can sub? I'll be there in three hours. few more peasants. I could get a shredder as well. Yeah, I can get a shredder. Okay, cool. And now we'll have all the lumber we ever need. How dare you leave YouTube for Twitch? Well, I'm trying to spread love because an, a shared appreciation of gaming is what my stream is all about. So how about spread the love? Okay, okay. We're well underway. Need some towers. Let's uh, create the red spot. What's the worst thing that can happen? Why don't you scout for a second? You don't need to scout if your strat is unstoppable. It doesn't matter what he does. Literally, all of you can do this same strat on ladder and lose like shit. There he is. There's nothing we can do. Okay, there is. Just focus his hero. Okay. Let's go heal. Uh, there's a guard tower, there's an arcane tower. And then... Where's our lumber? Okay, there we go. Let's get one cannon tower. TP? Any TP? There we go. Okay, okay. Um, I need barracks as well. It's funny always how when you come back from a TP, the creeps that you fought with run towards you. It's quite interesting. Need another barracks. Need more upgrades? Dude, I need a lot of resources. I don't even have money for a cannon tower yet. Come on. More lumber is required. What do I drop here? Oh, he does have an expansion. I just gotta make this a lot harder. <laughs> I guess I dropped gloves. There we go. Man, 
I really don't have enough resources or anything. There we go. 50 pop. I, I need to mine for a little bit with this base. Let's uh, see the lay of his land. Okay. All right. Yeah. Any shades? We should get magic sentry and we can see shades. Here too. Cannon tower? There we go. And some farms. I can't believe how much lumber we need. You can totally see how this is a really good strategy so far. Yeah, it feels totally legit. Are shades worth it considering the cost? Uh, sometimes, yeah. If you're fighting against blades, shades can be really, really good. Can anyone guess where this is going yet? Because I can't, and I'm making it. This seems very advanced. <laughs> we need ChatGPT to make this build better. If we can call it a build. Yeah, this is this is all part of uh, your basement. Bring your own computer builds. Uh, no rush, no rush. Twenty minutes. Where's the tank? It's coming. <laughs> it's coming, dude. Be patient. You can't rush these things. He hasn't crept this yet. He hasn't crept this yet. It's coming. You ready? Well, soon. There's a few more elements to the build that must complete first. Your honor. Your honor. I, actually, I need more peasants too. There it is. The tank, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I present to you the siege engine. The little siege engine that could. Oh, I need uh, stuff of sanctuary actually. What do I sell? All of this is so good. Uh, Anchor of reincarnation, I guess. Gunpowder. I need 575 wood. Stop! I want to get both upgrades at the same time. It would give a greater level of satisfaction. Here we go. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. Never before attempted. go this can't fail just check that he doesn't have shades on me I don't know if it can't fail or can't succeed it's one of them They're still in this, right? Yeah, they're still in this. Oh shit. Absolutely yes. 
<laughs> There's a small problem. The peasants get revealed. Come on, he had to do a counterattack. Let's defend. <laughs> what the hell, man? Hey, the siege engine is still going, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he didn't respond how he should. The problem is he doesn't know how to play. He's supposed to try to kill the siege engine. <laughs> All right, new plan. Where are my flying machines? There. It's gonna be okay. We thought about this. Flying machines may not be good against frost worms, but they're pretty good against flying sheep. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Where are you going? What is it? Will it be? Siege then is still alive, so technically not lying. It is quite unstoppable if all your units are sheep. <laughs> Oh wait, I need more sharks. They're about to dis- Oops. Uh, run away. No! My tank! Come on! <laughs> Who saved it? Do you require aid? All our bases are still belong to us. Make your time. Oops. Oh! That was close. More sorts, more polymorph. Well, I was trying to make an invisible wall around the siege engine so that he wouldn't be able to uh, attack it. But he's like, why would I attack your siege engine? Wait, does he have shades? He does not. Oh, I think he thought sacrificial pit is still a prerequisite. It used to be a prerequisite. For Boneyard. But it no longer is. Well, what, 
That's probably why he made it. They removed that prerequisite a bit ago. They'll never hear me coming. It's no longer a prerequisite, correct? Kirby, I want to host a challenge match between you. How can I get in contact with you? A hey, uh, detox dudes, we're not in the same shape. I refuse. Thank you, though. Any shades here? No, he really just made it to uh, make Boneyard. Still making frost worms. Where the hell does he get the money? Oh! <laughs> I guess you should make use of the shades. He can't fight back. I guess he doesn't see how he can kill the sorks, if you know what I mean. Get it? Level, almost level 10 Archmage. Haven't they? In all these years, I've never changed the hotkey for Polymorph, and I actually need to look at my keyboard to find the O. I really should have rebound Polymorph to something else. Almost level 10? Can we? Not quite. Not quite. It's close. Is he doing Necropolis hiding or something? GG! Nice! Almost level 10. We literally only needed one more frost worm to level to 10. Ah. GG. We did a good deed. If you enjoyed the game, sub to the grub.